Okay, Shalom. I want to give all honors and glory to spaces due to Yahweh by Shem Shai, Rekar Kadash. I mean, sorry, uh, by Hashem, Rekar Kadash, uh, double honors and apostles and elders of GMS, peace to Akim, that's doing this work on the four corners of earth. Shout out to the confusion of face. Um, I'm going to talk about basically how, like, you know, we're not supposed to ever trust our enemies. Like, the two third niggas, who's our enemy big time, uh, so is the so called white man and these other heathen nations. You know, um, matter of fact, let me just right click. Okay, uh, Book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12, verses, uh, Sin, never trust thy enemy for 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 like as an iron rusted so he is wickedness kind and you got our fucking you know two third uncle Tom ass niggas uh spickers and uh tomahawks want to trust the so called devil man instead of trusting Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai so they're gonna get dealt with you know, because like in these last days, you know, you know, I, I be seeing like, you know, you know, niggas is acting like, you know, when it comes to these other nations, act like they better than the, act like they better than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You know, but be careful too, man, because like some of these other uh people you think is our people, they not they fucking uh confusion of face fucking tears, man. That's not our people. You know, because you got to remember confusion of face. You know, um, I'm going to go to Second Ezra chapter 7, verses uh, 48. You did. Behold, the, the Most High dwell not in temples made with hands, you know, said the prophets come. Because, like, you know, Yahweh Shimei Hashai ain't dealing with these churches at all. You know, he's talking about with the spirit that's in your in your body, you know what I'm saying? That comes from the Most High. He's not dealing with uh, temples made by man. You know, because our people was bamboozled. You know, the two-third niggas, they bamboozled in these churches. You know. Uh, prime example... Like with that, when that uh, Edomite down there, what's that in South Carolina, when he came in there and he shot up them Jakes, you know, that was in that church. That tells you that's a good example right there that the Most High ain't dealing with fucking temples, man. He's just not dealing with these fucking temples. Also, too, uh, like when I check out the movie The Purge, uh, they had some people go to this church, you know. And so, thinking that they was going to be safe, shit, them fucking Edomite clan members came in there and sprayed all their monkey asses up in there, man. And, and, and you know, when Esau showed you these movies, they show you what they're going to be doing later on, real talk. You know. But, uh, also, too, you know, um, you know, a lot of these niggas, like, like a lot of these jakes that live, like, out in the suburbs, they think, it, they think that they're safe. Man, when, when the shit hit the fucking fan here, when this fucking dollar collapse, uh, when all hell break loose, you're not going to be able to uh, uh, be out there because really they're going to kill you first. You niggas that's out there, you jakes that's out there in them suburbs, you know, whether you're Negro, Latino, or Native American, you know, because they're not used to like living low or whatever, you know. And also now too is these Edomites, they know that they're about to, uh, you know, um, cause now they starting to live like a Jake and they not used to that shit, you know, but these curses was going to fall upon them anyway. Thus said the Lord, you know, because it's, it's, you know, cause I watched this, I, I watched a video one time last week about how these, uh, militia groups is really, they want to get busy on, on the United States, on the government. You know, because they, they see that there's no jobs out here anymore. Um, and they're, they're fucking losing it, man. Big time.
you know, and, and like I said, you know, all these curses falling upon them because, like, you know, they touched the Lord apple of his eye and they should have never done that, you know. But it's coming upon them now. But, um, like I said, you know, don't trust your enemy neither. Like I said, rather it's two third niggas or, you know, rather it's Edomites, you know what I'm saying? Or, the, or, or these two third, uh, Jake women, these Negro, Latino, Native American women, you know, and especially at your job, cause you know, like these women will fucking turn on your ass in a minute, you know, but also too, it's just, uh, you know, just be careful out here. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we have to be a, a, a spiritual warrior in this truth. You know. Because, uh, you know, it's going to come to a time where, you know, by us being in this truth, uh, the man is, you know, man, the Lord is doing his work. You know, because you don't forget, you're going to have your family members turn on you. And if you got a woman, she'll turn on you. You know, because you're in this truth of righteousness, of of Teaching the Gospels of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know, teaching the right doctrine coming from GMS. From the pastors on down. You know? Um, you know, the shit is about to hit the fan here. And uh, just get ready. Because um, it's going to go down. Because everybody think, especially two-third niggas, man, they just think, it's time to fucking party. No, the fucking ain't, nigga. Man. Two-third niggas ain't ready, man. <laughs> These fucking two-third niggas ain't ready. Give me a second here. Trying to get another scripture here. Okay. Let me get you one more here. Okay. Uh. Hosea, uh, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they had rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thus said be no peace to me. See that has forgotten the law of the power I will also forget their children kind and that's why you see these two third jakes get killed every day I don't care if they a baby you know I don't care if they a teenager or an adult you know how about you male shot can punish you so hard that he'll you know he'll kill your kids or your grandkids you know so you how about you me shot you know he ain't nothing to mess with at all you know, um, pretty much because a lot of you Jakes, man, y'all just, you know, you two, when I mean that, I'm talking about you two thirds, man. Cause like, you know, you got grown ass niggas wearing tight fucking pants. It's like, uh, what's the whole point of doing some shit like that? You got the so-called, uh, <clears throat> so like you, uh, Negro, Latino, Native American women. Uh, dying the hair blonde and, 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 you know, changing the colors and, and weird colors, too. And it's like, what the hell? Yeah, you know, and, and you know, they, you know, and here's the thing, you know, like these women, you know, uh, uh, trusting their enemy and shit. I mean, one time the Ikem, he was out there. Matter of fact, this is like probably a month ago where, you know, these, uh, these, uh, nigga women came back to pie. And one of them said to us, uh, you know, we love, we love our white man and all that bullshit. So, but like I say, when all hell break loose, a lot of these nigga women, they going to get it. A lot of these Latino women going to get it. And a lot of these Native American women going to get it when all hell break loose. Then they going to want a man of the Lord. But by the time, it's going to be too fucking late because they trust their fucking enemy when it says, Never to trust thy enemy at all. Okay. So uh, with that, I'm going to give all honors and glories and praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, 
Ricard Kadash, Double Honest Apostles and Elders, a Great Millstone, Peace to the Akim that's doing his work on the four corners of the earth. Shalom and Babal Babal, and we almost off this bitch. Shalom.